Hi, I'm Melissa Cameron, a fertility specialist from Melbourne IVF. Welcome to Fertile Minds. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about BMI, otherwise known as Body Mass Index. So first of all, what is BMI? BMI is a calculation taking into account your weight in relationship to your height. It's a very general measure of whether you're the right weight for your height. Your BMI can certainly affect your fertility, both if you have a high BMI or a low BMI. A normal BMI is usually considered between about 18 and 25, but it can vary a lot depending on your body type. How can BMI affect your fertility? If you're at a high BMI, it can affect ovulation and cause irregular menstrual periods. It can also affect sperm function as well. But importantly, having a high BMI can also be associated with other medical conditions such as high blood pressure or diabetes, to mention a few. Uh, and these independently can also affect your fertility. So the first step is to have a consultation with your fertility specialist to talk about your individual health needs. If you have a high BMI, we often work in a multidisciplinary team with dietitians, exercise physiologists, and general practitioners as well to help look at the aspects of your life that you can improve in order to help improve your fertility. And it's important to realise that a small change in your BMI can really do wonders for your fertility. We're not talking about making major changes, just even a change as small as 5% in your weight can improve ovulation and also improve sperm function and uh, increase your chances of getting pregnant. I think it's really important not to make sudden major changes to your weight. Uh, we're really aiming for a healthy lifestyle that's maintainable uh, for slow gradual changes so that you don't shock your body into having a lot of weight loss or a lot of weight gain. Many people don't realise that a high BMI can affect male fertility as well as female fertility. Increased weight can certainly affect sperm function uh, and can contribute to an abnormal sperm test. By reducing your weight and achieving a normal BMI, you can certainly improve your sperm function and therefore improve your chances of conception. So how does BMI affect ovulation? If you have a high BMI, it can cause hormonal changes in the body so that the signaling processes from your brain to your ovaries aren't as efficient and therefore you may not be ovulating as often or even at all. Some people with a high BMI may develop a condition called polycystic ovary syndrome. And often in this condition, people will ovulate very infrequently, maybe once every three to six months. And if you're only releasing an egg once every three to six months, over the course of a year, you're going to have fewer opportunities to get pregnant. Similarly, having a low BMI can also cause hormonal changes and again affect the signaling function from the brain to the ovaries and stop the ovaries from ovulating. Like having a high BMI, if you're not releasing eggs, it can make it much more difficult to get pregnant. When it comes to your chances of conceiving, Controlling your BMI is one area that you actually do have control over and you can feel so out of control when it comes to fertility. This is often a time where you can really make yourself as healthy and fit as possible and know that you're always doing something really good for your fertility, but not only that, but your chances of having an ongoing, uncomplicated pregnancy and a healthy baby as well. Thanks so much for watching today. If you want to keep up to date with all things fertility, please subscribe to our channel.